So I can't sleep and it's like 4, 17 a.m. But the good thing as a creative when you can't sleep, <laughs> they say this is the best time for creativity and creating and all that. So I decided why not? I have work in the next less than three hours. So I figured I won't sleep at all and just sleep after because it's not a long day but it could be anyway that's not the point i want to make in this video there's a lot of things i want to talk about so i don't even know where to start <laughs> so i think for this particular video um i'll talk about one thing that has gotten me you know attacked in the past and that is my disdain for sex here's the thing there are a lot of people on the spectrum it's not a need that's what i genuinely believe and from my own experience <laughs> um because when i was thinking back on all the moments that it has happened it was always like the man initiating and a lot of things just went haywire in my life with all that and every time it wasn't worth it it really wasn't a toy can do the same thing and yeah some people will argue and say no there's nothing like skin to skin contact um yeah there is ah uh, you don't really need to attach that whole human <laughs> to get pleasure and I was even attacked in Atheist Society of Kenya, the group which was supposed to be open-minded and open to all sorts of ideas. The moment people were really talking about sex and I was like, well, it's not a must. Like, if you enjoy it, cool. If you don't, cool. And there's nothing wrong with both sides. And they were like, no, you're a toxic, bitter feminist. And I'm like, because I don't like sex. Like, I've had it before and I've decided I don't want to do it anymore. I've been celibate now one year, nine months, because my daughter turned one today. Well, technically yesterday, because February. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Um, for example, some love apples, some love bananas, some love oranges. Will you call them watermelon haters? You know what I mean? Like, people are so quick to judge you and call you names when you don't fit into their level of manipulation. I didn't even think like in a group like atheists, <laughs> the men still want to be in charge and tell you what you want to do with your body. It makes no sense because it's supposed to be based on logic, right? So logically speaking from the data presented to me, I didn't enjoy it. And some will say, oh, but you've not tried with me, but you've not tried. Yeah, I've heard those lines before to end really it isn't worth it have i had an orgasm before yes still is sex worth it no because more of the risk is on one party which is the woman um unless a man is willing to undergo a vasectomy which most still aren't and they feel emasculated by and there's a lot to talk about next video <laughs>